उसी के पास जन्म से ही वंश की छाव है झूठ के रथ पे सवार डाकुओं का गांव है किसी के पास है छल कपट किसी के पास है छल कपट किसी के पास रूप का वरदान है ये सोच कर मत बैठ जा ये विधि का विधान है ये सोच कर मत बैठ जा ये विधि का विधान है बज रहा मृदंग है ये कहता अंग अंग है कि प्राण अभिशेष है कि मान अभिशेष है उठा ले ज्ञान का धनुष उठा ले ज्ञान का धनुष एक कण कुछ और भी अब मांग मत भगवान से ज्ञान की कमान पे लगा ले तू विजय तिलक ज्ञान की कमान पे लगा ले तू विजय तिलक काल के कपाल पे लिख दे तू ये गुलाल से कि रोक सकता है अगर कोई तो रोक के दिखा मुझे कि रोक सकता है अगर कोई तो रोक के दिखा मुझे हक छीनता आया है जो अब तक अब छीन के बता मुझे ज्ञान के इस मंच पे सब एक समान है ज्ञान के इस मंच पे सब एक समान है विधि का हर विधान पलट दे वो ब्रह्मास्त्र ज्ञान है तो आज से ये ठान ले ये बात गांठ बांध ले कि कर्म के कुरुक्षेत्र में न रूप काम आता है न झूठ काम आता है न जाति काम आती है न पिता का नाम काम आता है सिर्फ ज्ञान ज्ञान ही आपको आपका हक दिलाता है ज्ञान के इस मंच पर मैं मेहा जोशी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर दिल्ली स्कूल ऑफ मैनेजमेंट दिल्ली टेक्नोलॉजिकल यूनिवर्सिटी यहाँ उपस्थित सभी प्रबुद्ध जनों का डायमंड गोल्डन एंड सिल्वर जुबली एलुमिनाई मीट ट्वेंटी में हार्दिक अभिनंदन करती हूँ If you can imagine it, you can create it. If you can dream it, you can become it. With knowledge as a motto and discipline as a strength, striving on and on is what we as Delhi Technological University represent. Ladies and gentlemen, with this, I would like to request a very dynamic, vibrant, and exuberant Professor Rajesh Rohila, Dean Alumni Affairs, to deliver the welcome address. Good afternoon, everyone. Our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor J.P. Saini, Shri Vinod Dham, Founder and Managing Partner, Indo-US Ventures uh, Partners, Shri Karnail Singh Ji, Dr. Muktesh Chandra, Professor Madhusudan Singh, Governing Council Members of Alumni Association, and alumni of Diamond Jubilee Batches 1961-62, Golden Jubilee Batches 1971-72, and Silver Jubilee Batches 96 and 97. All the respected deans, HODs, staff, and dear students, I once again welcome you to this second part of this program, which is mainly focused on celebration of a celebration of the success of our alumni and all the alumni who have actually made us proud. So with great honor, I welcome you all to this part of the program. So as we strive to fulfill our personal and professional goals, we realize that we don't find enough time to enjoy those relations and maintaining those relations. Once you are retired, you get plenty of time and you realize that relations are really important. Maybe relations with your friends, relations with your family, all these things do matter and become quite important. Now we have plenty of time where we can connect with our old friends and interaction with our friends, that is the real source of joy. So, this event has given us the opportunity to get in touch with the old friends. And I have seen that experience du during the preparation that we were interacting with the alumni of various batches, even 1961, 62, 71, 72, and then 96, 97. The kind of excitement that we had actually seen that was unprecedented. And we could realize that they are, they are reliving the time which they had missed earlier. During the time of, of a study, that is with their batchmates when they were in hostels, 
they have spent plenty of time, the memories which they can cherish. They have burned the midnight oil. They tried adventures which many a times might have turned into misadventures. All the experiences while sitting on the back benches, you want to enjoy all, the, all that by meeting today. And I hope that you must have relieved a part during the last two, three hours. And you must have memory which probably you will relish throughout your life. Now, I do understand that we are running short of time. I will not take much time. But I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, the alumni who have actually come forward to support the cause of the DTU students. So they have used this opportunity not just for interacting with their friends, their peers, or the faculty in, the, in DTU or DC. They have used this opportunity to do something for the students who are actually studying here and they have decided to support the cause of their alma mater. So in this regard, I would like to appreciate the effort of some of the alumni who have decided to support the students by establishing scholarships and medals. So during the last one week, six of our alumni from these batches, one from even earlier batch, she S.P. Goyal, has also come forward to support the DTU students and they have established scholarships and medals worth uh, 21 lakhs. <laughs> Shri Prem Sija, 1971 batch, electronics and communication, he has donated six lakhs for starting the scholarship. <laughs> Shri Shashi Kishore Jain, 1971 electrical engineering, has donated one lakh to the contributory fund, which can be used for any purpose by DTU. Professor C.S. Arora, 1971 Mechanical Engineering, he has contributed three lakhs for scholarship. So Professor C.S. Arora, for those who are not uh, familiar, he is uh, engaged in teaching at uh, USME campus, and uh, he is serving DC in another role as professor. So thanks a lot for supporting the cause of the students. <laughs> Shri Jagjit Singh Auja, 1971 civil engineering, he has contributed three lakhs for scholarship. Shri S.P. Goel, 1954 batch, he has contributed three lakhs for the contributory fund. So Shri S.P. Goel proceeded, and, or he had his education at Harvard after completing his education at Delhi College of Engineering. But at the age of 90 plus, he is still active. Nin 1954, you can guess. Then Shri Vijay Birbal, 1971, he has contributed five lakhs for starting a medal. So on behalf of uh, Delhi Technological University, I express my sincere gratitude. Uh, I thought it relevant because I come across many uh, alumni from various batches who are interested in doing something for their alma mater. So there are certain ways in which you can actually uh, do something for your alma mater, like starting scholarship medals and contributing, that is one form. Then you can uh, have your own initiative in form of supporting a sponsored research lab or starting any center of excellence or naming a building. These are some of the opportunities which are available. So I will share the details at later stage, but I find it appropriate forum to at least uh, share the opportunities that are available. We do understand the affection that you have for DTU and we do really appreciate and we do really appreciate that you have spared your valuable time and decided to be part of this celebration. Thanks a lot. I hope you will have a wonderful evening uh, when you visit the Kashmiri Gate and a wonderful time in this afternoon. Thank you so much.